am doing a car I'm doing a car tour let's go ahead and get right into it are y'all ready are y'all ready boom <laughs> so extra so y'all I thought that I would not like a certain thing about this car for one it's a hatchback I normally do not like hatchbacks I don't know why <laughs> but yeah guys this is a 20 13 Kia Rio. What I had first was a 2006 Volkswagen Beetle. So your girl is moving on up in life. I mean, it's not the newest car, but it's newer than what I had. So anyway, let's move on. So this is what it looks like from the side. Um, it's red. So yeah, this is what it looks like in the front. I got it from Joey Griffin in Ke Joey Griffin Kia in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Uh, let me. Let me. Y'all ignore that mat. It's supposed to be up there so my grandparents won't slip. Oh, by the way, I'm at my grandparents' house. Okay. Y'all listen to this little horn. That's so girly. Okay. I'm sitting in the car. It is a four door. Before I had a two door, and that was such a struggle when people wanted to ride with me or when I would keep my nieces and nephews. So I'm thankful for a four door car. It's spacious. Like it's still a little car. I still got a little car, but it is spacious. What I love about this car is it has a backup camera because your girl needs that because I can't drive that good. So I need that in my life. So that's a blessing. Also, another thing that I like is it is touchscreen. Yeah, I like that it's um, touchscreen. Touchscreen, so the touch screen. So that's another reason why I picked the car. Um, Anyway, so I love that um, I can dial numbers and all that. I can dial numbers and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. And with my other car, the radio was super, super small. So I couldn't, you know, it was just like a little skinny radio. It didn't have like a screen or I didn't have Bluetooth connected to the car. Like, well, I didn't have Bluetooth connected to the car. I could, didn't have touch screen or a screen or anything. All these buttons. So it's an upgrade for me but um yeah when my youtube channel expands i'm gonna do like a how i feel about the car tour i want out and this car won't i won't have this car forever like it's just an upgraded my it's just a newer car than what i had before so yeah that's the radio that's what i love about it so of course it's a it's an automatic um, hold on. all that good stuff um, when I was looking, bef before I got the car, I was looking on, before I got the car, I was looking at YouTube reviews and stuff, and I saw that you would have to roll the window down manually, but this car, dang, this car has automatic, well, the driver's side does, and all that stuff, so I was hoping, I was like, please don't let this car have where I gotta, like, ch chug the window down, but anyway, let's move on. First of all, I need to slide back here. This car has 77,000 miles on it, 77, 7,501 miles on it. Um, I need to go get some gas, by the way. But yeah, um, I like that it has the controls on the steering wheel because if you know me, you know I can't drive that good. So I need some controls on, the, on that steering wheel. Yeah, um, it had, I don't know what this means. Active Eco, like this. And I'm gonna press that. All it does is put like that eco thing up there i don't know what that means let's get in the back seat y'all so the back seat is really spacious y'all my seat is not wet so yeah this is the back seat like this thing covers the trunk so right up under is my trunk space so what it looks like you have like this little space and this compartment and all this stuff this is my first time sitting in my back seat um, oh yeah, it doesn't have like a cup holder thing right here. You got a cup holder right there. Each side of every door. Anyway, uh, this is what it looks like from the back seat. Major upgrade from what I had. It's not the newest car, but it's still a major upgrade from what I had. Um, yeah, so y'all, 
I have tore that mat up right down there on the floor. It's supposed to be straight, but I tore it up. But, yeah, so this is what it looks like from the back. Now, I'm going to let you see the truck, and then I'm going to do a 360 of the car, and that's it. The car door is unlocked, like most cars, I guess. I don't know. You just press the little button up under there and open it. So right here, guys, is the truck space. Um, so a little bit about these bags. Call me crazy. I don't care. But um, this is what I do. I keep, I have something called emergency bags, like my little own <laughs> emergency kit. So in here, I keep a bunch of outfits for any type of occasion, whether it's church, like going to the park, going somewhere elegant. I know it's wrinkled probably, but I just keep it just in case. I keep a blanket just in case, like I might, if I might spend a night with my grandma or my cousin. I keep that in my car just in case. And in here, I keep a bunch of shoes for any occasion. Like I have heels in here, I have flats, I have sandals. I have like uh, slide shoes, like well, baby doll shoes, if like we used to call it, just in case, you know. Just in case, cause you never know when you might not like something that goes with your outfit. You got some extra stuff in your car. But yeah, um, it has this little, has this little compartment and all that stuff this is the little thing i was showing y'all a while ago i had this in my beetle but it could flip down this is connected to this so it doesn't flip down but yeah um get y'all some emergency stuff you never know when you're gonna need it so get it just in case but what it looks like all right guys so that's it oh up under here when you lift it up i'm pretty sure it has like the um the spare tire and all that stuff in there because my beetle did it has lights on the side or when it's dark of course <laughs> but yeah 